Hi guys, and welcome back to another training video. Today I'm gonna be out here, it's an early morning. I will focus on basically everything, but the main focus will be on the first touch. But I will start off with a short warm up, and then I will head into the first exercises, which will be a bit lighter, just to get going, get my, get my touch up, get my uh, head going now that it's an early morning. And then my main focus will be spent in the half space and working on that range of different first touches, and then following that up by a shot, a cross or a pass. So without further ado, let's head into the session. Heading straight into the first exercise, you can see this as an extended warm-up. The goal here is really to prepare us more for the upcoming session and for what we're about to do, which is to focus mainly on our first touch. But in this first exercise, what we do is we play the ball towards the goal uh, and then try to have a, as clean a first touch as possible then head through the small cone weave by turning and then heading through the cones. You can use both feet, you can use the right foot, the left foot, you can vary it up if you want to. But as I said, the goal here is to really warm up the muscles, warm up the mind to prepare ourselves for the coming exercises, which will be the main focus of the session. Try to constantly challenge yourself in this exercise. Try to get into a good flow where you have a clean first touch. You take the ball through the cones as quickly as you can and as focused as you can. Go all the way back. And if you can, just keep going for however many reps you feel that you can perform at a good level. So for the second exercise, we have created a octagon just right behind me here. We have the goal from the first exercise still in place. We're gonna have that for the last exercise as well. But we have created an octagon and we will pass the ball towards the goal. And on our first touch, we will go around the entire octagon. So the first touch, we will take it right through the first gate. And then we'll just keep doing that around. So we'll practice taking our first touch in a multiple of different directions. And having a directional first touch is really important. After you have scanned the pitch and you have made your decision, you should have a multitude of different first touches that you can utilize. So that's what we practice in this exercise. We will receive the ball and take it in multiple different directions and then dribble away. Try to challenge yourself in this exercise and take your first touch through the gates Sometimes you may have to take two or three, and that's totally fine, but try to get into the habit of using your first touch to get away and get into the space that you want to get into. Also try to vary it up by using both feet inside and outside of the foot, take the ball behind your leg, take it in front of your leg, and vary it up. So moving on to the third and final exercise of the session, it will be the most game realistic out of the three and the one that we will spend the most time in. So what I'll do is I'll pass the ball towards the goal as I did in the first two exercises. Then I have four different options of how I can receive the ball with my first touch, depending on what a defender behind me does. And now I don't have a defender, so I will have to imagine those scenarios, but I will show you the four different scenarios and how I will act in these four different scenarios in the half space when receiving. So for the first scenario, we have a defender coming tight on our back. So we play the ball and then we have to protect it. So we get a low, we put our body between the defender and the ball. And then we either we keep it and then we either dribble inside, take the ball and find a, a lofted pass over the defense, or we head to the outside and keep dribbling. So in the second scenario, we have a defender who's coming in very late. So you can imagine him coming there and then we're able to beat him with a longer touch and then just run straight through one goal. So in the third scenario, we don't have anyone on our backs it's quite far away. So we're able to turn and run towards the defense and either cross in a shot or find a pass. So in the fourth and final scenario, we have a defender quite tight on our back, but where we're able to open up and then start driving laterally inside the pitch. 
and then find a pass or a lofted ball in behind. So that's it for this first touch session. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something. That's it for this time, take care, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.